Hi, you guys. I wanted to... I am 59 years old now, which means I'm almost 60, and the wrinkles are starting to come in. Well, actually, they started around age 50. I, I've actually always looked about 10 years younger than my age, but, you know, I was 34 when I fell in love with Brent Spiner, and I've wanted him ever since I was 34, and the Lord has just made me, Brent and I wait, and now I'm almost 60, and even though I I know Brent has never criticized my looks or my or wrinkles or anything like that. I'm trying to look as close to 34 as I can because I wanted I wanted to look like to you know when we finally get together I wanted to look as physically attractive to him as I was when he first fell in love with me. <laughs> it's kind of like asking for the impossible. Like I was looking at a picture of some act famous actresses I won't mention their name because I'm not trying to degrade them or anything but I saw pictures of them in their 30s compared to like when they're 60 and it's like wow the wrinkles really show I'm doing pretty good for so for being almost 60 let me show you some first of all I've been doing Carolyn Cleves facial fitness exercises and I will uh, show you a I'll have a link for that underneath this video and I'm putting this on the largest resolution so you can see my wrinkles you know I've got like uh, worry, they call these worry lines right there. I got a little bit of the wrinkles going this way. I also have some fine line wrinkles going underneath my eyes, you know, like kind of like that. Um, but, but I'm doing pretty good for 59, so you have to get like really close on the camera to see them. So, um, but let me show you. Her exercises have been working for me, but I've had to modify some of them. Like she has one exercise where you go like this. That actually gives me a really bad side view. So I, uh, I quit that exercise. I'm finding that one does not work for me. Instead, um, I, when I get to that part of her program, I just do this because I, I really have a big problem with worry line. So I, and I don't do the worry line quite like she does. And I've changed, she just goes straight up and down. But due to the way my eyebrows are shaped, it's better for me to kind of like flare it out like this. The trick is when you do these exercises, you need, you need to firm all of your muscles. The way, the, the way that it works is I wear breathe right nasal strips and you can still see the mark <laughs> I'm kind of rubbing off some of my makeup when I'm doing this so the trick is you got to, you firm your muscles when you smooth out the wrinkles and the way it works is when the muscles build up it kind of fills up that wrinkle and makes it smooth out that's her that's the the, the scientific theory behind her facelift exercise and it does work but the, so I'm, I'm firming my muscles and I'm going out this way because this is the way these wrinkles are for me and this works better. I just discovered that. So I will be doing my worry line smoother. Instead of going straight up and down, I'm going like this. Like that. Okay, that works better for me because of the way my wrinkles are. Um, and the, so I've modified that one exercise. And another exercise I modified is... Um, she has one exercise where you go like this. Okay. Um, I've discovered that I need to go do it differently. And this really makes it good. You firm all the muscles. And you go. When I do that, it really smooths out all the wrinkles in here. It also gives me another added benefit. A problem that I'm having with age is that this is it's going like this right here. So when I firm all the muscles and go like that, I'm dealing with the crow's feet. I'm also smoothing out the wrinkles here that are going kind of like this. And um, so I'm, I've modified that exercise. I don't, I don't do it like this. I go... Like that, and I've noticed it's that. I've noticed it's kind of smoothing out the wrinkles right down here. Another exercise that she does, which I've modified, is I'm wearing off some of my makeup. <laughs> um, is she has an exercise where you go like this. Uh, the problem with doing it this way is I'm starting to develop develop some fine lines going like this, doing that. So I'm modifying it and I'm going like 
this. I'm pulling this down and going like this. Using, I'm kind of like pulling this down here and then going like this. That seems to work better for the way the wrinkles are forming on my face. So I've modified that exercise. So, so those of you who are following Carol and Spatial Fitness, and if you have those wrinkles like I do, like instead of going like this, I'm going, when I get to that part, I'm going to go like this. But the point is, <clears throat> whatever you're doing, you don't want to make your wrinkles worse. So it's like, like this. It's lifting this up which and helping with the crow's feet and also smoothing out the wrinkles right in here. So that I'm doing different. Um, another exercise I'm doing different, when I do the lip pull, I only get the very, very little of the lip, and I smile. I don't hold it down like this, because if I do, I've noticed it's causing problems in here. So I go like that. These are things, you, as you do her exercises, you learn little tricks how you need to modify it to make it work for you. So what else have I modified? And um, So let's go like this. The trick is all, you always need to have firm muscles when you're doing the smoothing. Because you're, you're working on building up those facial muscles. That, that helps to fill out the wrinkles. So that's what I'm doing um, differently from hers. So it's a slight variation. This one is one of my favorites. Like, I remember when you're doing that. All of your muscles need to be firmed, or else you're just going to have saggy skin. So you want to. It's like training your skin to just go out this way. It kind of gets rid of all these wrinkles right in there. And I do have under eye circles, which I've had even in my 20s. So I always wear makeup to try to cover that. <laughs> but in order to show you the exercises, I had to show you that. So that, that's what I'm doing different. Another thing, um, the neck firmer exercise, I like this part. We pull it up, but I, I add this in. I still haven't completely figured out the best neck firmer. I think what, what I did before was I concentrated on this and not so much on pulling this down, but you need to do both. And so my exercises are not quite working there. I still have a little bit of ridges here. So, um, I think what I've been doing wrong is I need to do both. I need to go. I need to pull down the skin and do the firming at the same time. So I'm going to be working on improving that. So that's how I'm trying not to look like a wrinkled prune at age 60. But you know, for 59, <laughs> can't. Um, oh, another thing that I'm doing. Oh, I forgot. I was I was going to do this. I'll be right back. Um, I just start. <laughs> I just started using this. This is um, Neutrogena Ageless Intensives Anti Wrinkle. It's Neutrogena. She has some real, real expensive like skin creams and stuff you can buy. But Jesus told me not to order anything online. And I ordered her program back in 2009 before the Gale Commandments came into existence and even before I contacted her. But I've never been real regular about doing her exercises until the past six months. And, I, and I'm learning that some of the exercises are not working out for me. I've had to modify them. Like this one's a disaster. It's been giving me fine, ooh, fine line wrinkles going straight down. So I need to go like that when I do that one. I've modified it. So um, this here, the trick with this is what I did the first time is I took like a pearl size and I put it right under my eyes and oh, they got so red and I it made me look like I was 70. All the wrinkles got worse and swollen and it just really dried my skin out. I figured out what I was doing wrong. You only want to get a pearl size of this and you start from here and you got to put it over your whole face going in an upward motion and then it works. But what I do is I only, 
I put the, I take a shower in the evening. I get a pearl size of this, move it into an upward motion, put it all over my face, and then I just let it sit there for a couple of hours. And if it looks like this area is drying out, I even add a little bit of moisturizer here to help it out on top of it. And then when I I do this right after I come out of the shower, and I leave and I because I shower in the evening. And then, though they recommend you do it at night, and the night might work. The trick is you don't want to use too much. And then, at um, when it's time for me to go to bed, I wash my face, and I, which means I take it all off. I only wear it for a couple hours because this stuff's pretty strong on me. I don't want my skin to get too irrit irritated. And then I, um, this is one of my favorite exercises too. This firms up this area right down here. And so, but Carolyn's facial fitness exercises do work, but you may need to modify them a bit like I have to make them work for your particular face. Like I have droopy eyes here, so her eyes naturally tend to go up, so she doesn't have that concern. So I have to like modify my exercises to, to counter the droop. With age, it get, the drooping gets worse. <laughs> so um, uh, what I do with this, and then at night, I usually don't, when I go to sleep, I usually don't like to wear anything on my face. It's, I don't know why, but, but I will use, wear this for a couple hours before bedtime. And it's, it soaks into your, when you put it on right after a shower, your skin's wet. So it absorbs into the skin rather well. And also the wetness helps from too much of it going in there. And um, then this works for me. Then I wash it off, wash my face before bedtime, maybe uh, put on my nasal strip and just go to bed. <laughs> and I wear moisture. I'm starting to wear moisturizer during the day underneath my eyes because the, this area likes to dry out. And then when it does, I, I look really wrinkly. So that's what I've been doing. And I'm 59 years old. And um, and as far as my diet, I started something new because I don't. I've had to. I have to make it so I don't spend more than a hundred dollars out of my checking account every month or I'm going to be uh, I'm not going to be able to do the Gale commandments. I won't be able to save or anything. So um, I, in my last video I um, what I've been doing is I've cut back on my peanuts. I used to buy 2.5 times 3 pounds of peanuts. I only get one one canister of peanuts about this big and it lasts it's got to last me for two weeks so I only eat two ounces of peanuts a day. I've cut back on my strawberries. I usually have about four or five cups of frozen strawberries with like 20 tablespoons of sour cream at night. That's pretty expensive probably. It's also not exactly balanced so now I'm only doing 1.5 cups of frozen strawberries with four tablespoons of non-fat sour cream every day and to make up for that I'm cooking beans and rice but my microwave just went on me, and um, Brent seemed to tell me brain to brain that's probably a blessing in disguise because using microwave all the time is not good for your health. So now I, the rice and beans, when I have to heat up the leftovers, I use my pressure cooker to cook them with absolutely no oil. I um, will just use like maybe a teaspoon of sesame oil to fry it and uh, warm it up. That's what I'm going to do. Besides, food tastes better when it isn't microwaved, I've discovered. So... And, you know, I was afraid that by going on this new diet uh, where I'm eating more rice and beans and less of the fresh and, and peanuts that I would not be able to lose weight. But it looks like I'm going to be able to keep my weight pretty good. I'm like 129 right now. And so that's what I'm doing to follow the Gale Commandments and to save money and also to try to look young. So... I don't really wear a lot on my face, and Jesus has never criticized me for money I spent on makeup, but I am just now starting to use this. So um, if you're following Carolyn's Facial Fitness and you're one of my followers, I just wanted to show you how I'm doing it and how I've modified her exercises. So um, this, this is the uh, right brow smoother exercise. Um, I probably could look younger maybe if I was using her expensive products, but I, for 59, can't complain, you know? Could look much worse. <laughs>